Hey folks, welcome back to Containers 101 with .NET. I'm Chet Husk, and I'm excited to look into deploying the containers we've been working with for the past couple videos. So there are a few different ways that we can deploy our container. Uh, in general, you're going to be looking at two phases to deploying them. The first phase is pushing your container to a container registry of some kind. And the second phase is going to be some other kind of tooling pulling from that container and actually creating your running applications. That tooling is going to be something like an Azure Container Apps or uh, an Azure Function. The .NET SDK can help you a lot with that very first step. And then we've got some tooling in VS that can help you with the second. So let's take a look at what it takes to deploy to an Azure Container Registry a .NET containerized application. So we're in that container web app application that we looked at before, and we're going to use the same publish command that we did before, but we're going to add one more option here. And actually, before we do this, we're going to have to authenticate to this registry. So let me do that first. I'm going to use the azacr login command to log in to an Azure Container Registry that I've prepared beforehand. This will take a moment, but then it will say login succeeded. And then that will set up the Docker credentials required for the .NET SDK to actually push our container to that ACR. And now that we've done that, I can tell the .NET CLI to publish via a container to this registry. Let's see what that looks like. So just like before, we see some messages about we are building the Container Web App app. We're tagging it latest, and we built it on top of the ASP.NET 8.0 image. But unlike before, we have all of these messages about the individual layers in the container getting pushed to the ACR. That took no time at all. That, that impresses me every time I see it. But how do I know it actually ended up in the registry? That seems almost too quick to be believed. Well, I can use Docker pull to pull that image down and verify that it does in fact exist. So if I do that, we're going to pull the container web app latest tag from the Seahusk container testing registry. And boom, we just had to pull one layer because we already had the other ones available locally. And we can actually come into the Docker UI over here and verify that, yeah, we've got all the same pieces that we expected to see. That's really cool. We were able to seamlessly use native Docker tooling for authentication and just have that work. And that's kind of the story for the entire .NET SDK published for containers. It should just work with everything that Docker does. So we can push up to ACRs all day, no problem. But what about that second step? actually having an Azure Container app pull from that. Well, at this point, we're going to turn to Visual Studio to take a look at some of the tooling there. Here we are in the Container Web App yet again, and we're going to right-click Publish, and we're going to add a Publish Profile. And here, we're going to choose this Azure node. So I'm dealing with Azure resources, which is why I'm going here. But if you are wanting to push to an arbitrary container registry, maybe it's Docker Hub, Maybe it's Google Cloud. Maybe it's AWS. You can set this up using the Docker Container Registry option. But we're going to go with Azure today. And I am going to push to an Azure Container app. And I'm going to choose my Azure Container app. And I'm going to push to the registry that we were just pushing to. And just like we had some options with the debug and run cycle, we also have some options for how to build the container that we're going to push to that registry. I'm going to stick with the .NET SDK. And with that, we're done. Like VS scaffolded all of the orchestration required to push our image first to the registry and then create a new instance of the Azure Container app. It's going to take a while to do that deployment, so I'm not going to show it here. But it works like a charm. So definitely suggest looking at this if you are looking at Azure Container Apps. There is a whole broader constellation of tooling that might be interested or that might be interesting to you if you're looking at setting up really solid containerized deployments. Um, folks should look at the AZD utility uh, or the new Aspire project 
for a really smooth pathway to deploying .NET applications as containers in the cloud. But that's a quick tour of the tooling that we have available for Docker deployments using the .NET CLI and using Visual Studio. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to take a look at the links in the description for detailed reference docs on the .NET SDK container publish, guidance on packaging .NET applications as containers more generally, and an awesome container workshop that Rich Lander and I worked on that takes you through a bunch of the capabilities of the .NET SDK.